This isn't Vaseline nice. at all. It's showtime. Let's kick some ass. Your base belong to us. Come here! Welcome to time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Three Hit Combo Podcast, the world's most handsome podcast, according to our mothers. My name is Matt, and I'm here with Skylar and Andy. What's up, guys? She tells me how the cues boy. Not a lot. <laughs> My mom doesn't tell me those things. Oh. My mom just hits me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Had a pretty good week. It's filled with Borderlands 2. And, yeah. Nothing like starting off the podcast with a big... Uh... <laughs> uh but that, that's what my week's been. Uh, that's cool. On Facebook, one of my buddies... Uh, he, he took a picture of himself at Walgreens, mm-hmm. or I guess he was with a friend, and the friend took the picture. He's like, I'm gearing up for the iPhone 5. And then uh, I was like, what? Like, I had to go through all of these pictures, because it was sort of like And he's at Walgreens? Story. He was at Walgreens. Okay. And he goes in, and he's like, yeah, I'm so excited. And then he gets a little, t- um, he gets a bunch of little tubs of Vaseline. <laughs> little travel tubs, and then he goes to uh, the Apple store, like where people are already lining up. Mm-hmm. And he starts hanging them out, and you know, like people were confused. And then he announced, "Because you're all gonna get fucked." <laughs> <laughs> then he started getting pelted with Vaseline tubs. <laughs> but, uh, he, he gave him the ammunition. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but here you go, everybody. Throw these at me in about 15 minutes. Why is he handing me Vaseline? It smells. <laughs> yeah, I, this isn't Vaseline nice. at all. <laughs> but that—that's uh, that was over the course of like maybe a dozen pictures. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was pretty good. Nice. How was your week, Matt? Good. I keep losing things, and it's starting to piss me off. Really? First of all, <clears throat> I lost my deodorant. Oh yeah. I don't Last know, time I was here. I don't know how you do that because it le- like it's in a drawer in my bathroom. It leaves the drawer twice a day. In the morning, in the evening, almost every time after a shower. It's fucking gone. I had a backup stick, but you know, I didn't like it very Just much. Just in That's case such a Well, such an your sister jacket? I don't know. What about her boyfriend? Why? I don't why though why not <laughs> maybe the br- maybe the bro needs some deodorant maybe maybe it's a maybe it's a power play yeah it's maybe, a power play maybe that's all this is <laughs> I'm the only oh, man yeah? in this house <laughs> let's see how Matt likes it if he stinks <laughs> enjoy that backup stick of deodorant fuck face well the the reason i have a backup stick is cuz i bought it and then i ended up not liking it that much so i got the new one and then uh, the new one's gone and i lost my glasses my glasses! I don't know how the fuck I lost my glasses, because those are usually on my face, or within an arm's reach. <laughs> Did you leave them at work? No, no. There's, I, I, there would be no way I'd take them to work and then put them down and then leave, because I couldn't see. That makes sense. Well, at least you still have your contacts. I know, but this is my last pair. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> and they're old, so... You must. I need to... And I, of course, I have to go into the eye doctor before I can get more pairs. Because you gotta get a prescription. So I gotta schedule that shit. You gotta buy some new frames. It's, uh, it's going down the shitter, Matt. You're you're on your last leg with eyes. I know. Like no, seriously. Like I'm like a bathroom mishap of dropping it down the drain, <laughs> from not being able to see, and I won't have anything I can do. <laughs> you're just gonna be stuck at home <laughs> in the fetal position. I can't move. I'll fall. Why does everything have rounded corners all of a sudden? <laughs> Mom, Mom. Everything's a blob. Mom. Yeah, like, like touching people's faces. Like, <laughs> who that, are you? Is that you, Andy? Oh, I can feel the scruff. Oh, <laughs> oh it's good to hey. feel a familiar face. <laughs> Skyler, your face oddly feels like a like a package. <laughs> oh, it's thrusting. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of want my glasses back. Hey, if anyone finds my glasses, you can email me at. <laughs> Three at combo podcast at gmail dot com. <laughs> yeah, we we haven't really done any like uh, selfish plugs mid podcast. Like we we've stopped that. That that happened like 
Maybe for every our first ten few minutes, months, a but. plug. <laughs> every ten minutes, I'll, I'll try that. I will try that episode. Every ten minutes, I will try and plug something. <laughs> we'll just set an alarm to go off. No, no, no. I, need, I, need to do, I need to do this all natural. <laughs> oh, it's time to plug the Twitter. <laughs> that, <laughs> that hit me late there, that sound effect for the alarm. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> oh, hit us up on Facebook. <laughs> Maybe we'll reply. Oh, sound we the alarm. <laughs> uh, Andy. How have you been, Andy? I haven't seen you in a couple weeks. It's only been a week. Well, I mean, and if you think about it, it's been yeah, two, I know. two yeah, weeks yeah, yeah. Uh, since I've seen fine. you. Fine. Fine? Yeah. yeah. Staying away from those uh, drug dealers? Yes. Taking healthy yeah. boobs? Yes. Dropping some anal? Uh, I don't know. I think I, I think I sent you some anal, or it was anal for last week. You're not shooting up anymore? I don't, I don't shoot up. Have you, have you quit shooting up heroin, Andy? <laughs> Are you over that? Near the tip of your penis? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shot heroin at the tip of my penis the kiss <laughs> <laughs> yes we have a the kiss sound effect now <laughs> that's good that'll that'll be a good idea. that's gonna follow like creepy things <laughs> oh no <never clears throat> peeping tom was caught at a high school baseball game the kiss <laughs> <laughs> wait what was it the priest and the oh god the the guy watching the people in the parking lot it was a story we did a long time ago oh god the kiss. Oh, the guy was caught like sweaty or something with pictures of underage girls or... There there was a story recently that we could have used this sound effect on where a, a football player for like a North Dakota school, they were playing an away game and one of the players was caught making out with like a 70 year old guy. The kiss. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and then, you know, boyfriend. Turned out to be his boyfriend he met online. Ah! <laughs> Good for the 70 year old though, he was pulling like a 20 year old. Oh my god. He must be loaded. Yeah, yeah, dude. Are, are you Is he doing a gay gay power like gay money play? Yeah, gay money play. <laughs> we'll get half the money. They'll just tie the knot really quick. So so what's your uh, what's your online screen name on uh, oldgayfinder.com? Fuck yes. 69. <laughs> Fuck yes. Would you like to try anal? 69. <laughs> hey ya. Uh, Yamail.com <laughs> So I uh, Sperm's the easiest to swallow. Fuck yes. <laughs> so I uh I've I've been uh running through a bunch of like free to play uh RPG games mm -hmm. online and I figured out that the perfect uh handle that no one uses is Professor Pickles. <laughs> So that's that's what's been my uh, my username, <laughs> Professor Pickles. <laughs> Professor Pickles, or sometimes <laughs> Prof underscore Pickles, <laughs> and maybe I'll replace the pickles with a five. I had some, but old, it's never really taken. I had some old accounts that were called the Wrinkly Sack of Doom. <laughs> nice. The Wrinkly Sack of Doom. That's how many games can you play with that long of a like, uh, name? It was my password when there used to be a. A uh, land center. All right, everybody. The that's building. Andy's password. Yes. <laughs> Is, are there underscores, capitals? Nope. Just one word. Just one word. The wrinkly sack of doom. No, the not the just wrinkly sack of doom. Mm. So it's just a wrinkly sack of doom. It's no. not the. No, wrinkly no. Sack. no it's, yeah, just, it's just it's uh, it's one of many. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it's, it's not it's, it's not the top dog. Everybody's got a wrinkly sack. Yeah. Well, whether or not it's of doom is. A, that's a whole other. No, I, I got mine tucked. So that's, yeah. It's like polished eggs. <laughs> that's, that's what's sitting in my my underwear. It's just pulled taut. If you know this for a fact, email us at <laughs> send some pics. <clears throat> Hashtag yeah. gross at three combo PC on Twitter. Hashtag the kiss. <laughs> Hashtag the kiss. <laughs> uh, okay, tweet us the creepiest thing you've ever heard come out of someone's mouth. Hashtag the kiss Ooh. at twitter.com slash three hit combo PC. No, that is the number three. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I, I figured out that if you Google us, or if you Google three hit combo, mm -hmm. three hit combo podcast is the third lowest like autocomplete. Ooh, yeah, we need to get up to number one. Well, the, hey, the, we the first one's three hit combo, it's whatever you typed in. So I guess we're technically number two of the I'll suggestions. I'll take it. <laughs> But yeah, if you Google us, you hit all our pages. GPX and Facebook and I think our MySpace. <laughs> we are now on the Google. 
<laughs> We're also on Friendster. <laughs> Are we really on yeah. Friendster? <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard you plug that at the end, huh, man? <laughs> I haven't plugged MySpace either. <laughs> you used to, but, you know, I don't just think, what's the I, fucking I don't point. think I ever really plugged it. I think I just said, we have it. <laughs> if you come find us if you really want. If you're one on of my the 60 people left on MySpace. <laughs> I checked it out. It's still just as wonky as it was when it was like remade. Oh, <laughs> dude! I remember, God damn MySpace. <laughs> I remember MySpace being really slow after about like four o'clock Central Time because mm. that's when everyone oh, was yeah. getting home from like school and work and stuff like that. And they check you. <sighs> they needed better servers, bro. Um. Well, now they have amazing servers. At the <laughs> at the on them. <laughs> at the land center, this um. If, if what land any, center? Do we have a land center? It's here? gone now, but oh, um, fuck. it used to be up by Amazing Pizza Machine. Oh, that's cool. I'm sad I missed that. What the fuck was it called? I don't remember. This was back in like seventh grade. But uh, if anybody would lag on the network, everybody would be like, "Get off my space!" Because <laughs> I guess he just took a shitload of bandwidth. <laughs> well, now there's. It's just so. It's so polluted with just like shit. Just. Videos and music. Apparently, people still like toss all that shit on there. Not people, but this is like artists course. and stuff. Do uh, people's pages still have like those gaudy animated? Oh God! Gifs of like yeah, the seven dwarves and shit like that. <laughs> just yeah. ridiculous shit. Queen bee. Yeah. Or <laughs> Blue just, like, sparkly letters. Sparkled. Yeah. Thanks for the ad. <laughs> Written in fire. Oh my god. <laughs> 17 American flags. <laughs> yeah, All pretty. billowing. It's America. <laughs> Alright, guys. With MySpace in the rearview mirror, how about we go into gaming news? Let's do it. Let the games begin! Peasant consoles or glorious PC master race? Choose your side. You know what she did for fun when she was your age? What? She pushed a hoop with a stick. Oh. This is gaming news. <laughs> With a stick. <laughs> oh man, we need to record more podcasts on Saturdays. Because we, uh, we are very jovial today. We are on fire. <laughs> Sundays, I even like closed last night and opened this morning. Sundays, I'm like, oh, fuck, I gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Sunday is oh, not, not this, like a fun day. This is my last hurrah for the weekend. <laughs> but no, we're recording this on a Saturday. This is great. It's crazy. Did we update Facebook on this? That we're releasing an early episode? Uh, it, it will be released on Sunday. Oh, okay. Never mind. But we'll record today. Wee! Well, I guess I just spilled the beans on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I mean, that's fine. Okay. I just wanted to keep up, you know. We usually release on Sundays. We'll release on Sunday. Saints Row the Third is free to play on Steam this weekend. And, if you really like it, it'll be 14 bucks through Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. Time. It's a really fun game. Steam always has the best deals. Like it's, they really they do. have some really good deals that pop out. Yeah. And the one thing I don't like about free to plays is you usually spend like it, it turns on like Friday afternoon, so you spend like when you get home from work like a good like three hours downloading the fu- freaking game <laughs> before you actually get to play it. Oh man, I had to wait a couple hours for my free game. I, I work on the weekends, so it's, it's, I don't. Really so do a lot of people, Andy. But who? Bahoo. Boo-hoo. <laughs> Just saying, it, it sucks for me. Man, download. First world problem. <laughs> that is a first world problem. Speaking of first world problems, my internet has been taking a shit like the last couple of weeks. It's insane. I did. I went to speed test and I was getting four megabytes of download speed. Is that good? No, that's oh, terrible. Sorry. We pay for 20. <laughs> My mine has uh, been slowing down. I na- I normally just blame my uh, my PS3. Yeah. Just because you know. Do you look at it and call it a whore? Nah, she's old. She's too old to be a whore. You this grandma is, whore. This is V1. Uh, she's a racist. <laughs> she's a racist. You racist. <laughs> her her name's Gertrude. She's a racist. All right. Uh, this is a rumor, and normally I stay away from rumors that really don't have a lot of uh, basis in fact. <clears throat> but a source close to Valve claims that Half-Life 3 is on its way to launch in 2013. Uh, due to a number of features being revised, the development schedule has been described as very chaotic. 
And they also note that this game will be an open world, complete with quests and non-playable characters. I don't think so. <laughs> I call total bullshit on that. <laughs> but I thought I'd throw it out Grand there. Grand Theft Auto Half-Life. Any, anytime I see Half-Life 3 story, I gotta do it for Andy. <laughs> I saw that too. That's why I wasn't too excited, but yeah, it'd be Grand Theft Auto Half-Life. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Half-Life. Half-Life Auto 3. San... San, San Mesa. San Rose the third. <laughs> oh, I saw a really funny thing on a, I don't know, some fucking website. So many websites have pictures on them these days. <laughs> um, but uh, someone was like, yeah, Valve's really uh, kind of wrote themselves into a corner. They don't want to release the third version of any of their franchises, but if they want to continue any of them, it's about time they release a third. And they're like, wait a second. And the next picture was Orange Box 2. <laughs> and they're like, they're going to release all the third versions of the game on Orange Box 2 so they never have to use the number. <laughs> <laughs> they should just call them the next Half-Life. Yeah. The next. Yeah, or like the iPhone. The new Half-Life. Yeah. Maybe, the maybe uh, I think I figured it out. The three button on all of the keyboards at Valve are just broken. <laughs> Someone keeps popping the threes out. <laughs> God. That's what it is. Damn it. It's just like when George W. got reelected, that someone stole the W keys off the keyboards in the White House. Really? It's the exact same thing. Yeah. I didn't hear about that. Oh, yeah. It's a funny prank that they kind of kept down. I thought it was hilarious, so I always remember it. Oh, well, that's from our White House insider, yeah. Skyler oh, yeah. Joyce. It was me. <laughs> it was the kill. <laughs> <laughs> I stole all your W's. And I'm going to give it about two hours after this airs. Before you're detained. <laughs> Son, you have our W's. <laughs> why, why don't you give us the W's, man? You're holding them over the toilet like, no! No! He's flushing the evidence! <laughs> Uh, according from uh, according to Engadget, and this is from the Anal Network, the Andy News Analysis League, Valve Research and Development employee Gerald Els- Jerry Ellsworth said that Valve is going to be entering beta for its hardware next year. Which makes me wonder, is there one guy making this? <laughs> this one just, hey, he's, he's one guy that yeah. ev- that actually works. Everyone else is just method actors that they hire. They, they forgot he's there. Yeah. Hey, he's he's the only guy with a three key. Uh, <laughs> we doing anything? What's up, guys? Their server just auto gets rid of three. <laughs> hey, guys, look, I made some hardware. <laughs> yeah. I was, I Damn was, it, is that a hat? <laughs> we only make hats. <laughs> Does this look like a hat? <laughs> It's a computer hat. Try to put your head in that. See, he can't. He can't can, do it. Can either. you wear this in Team Fortress? <laughs> well, I guess, uh, I guess we so. got to put a guy no. in there. <laughs> All right. Have you guys heard of the game Slender? The eight pages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very yeah. kind of creepy. I I don't find it that scary. I guess yeah. I haven't really played it, but I've seen a lot of gameplay. And yeah, I watched like the whole gameplay because I was. Yeah, and it's very... it didn't seem that scary to me. But apparently they are going to release a sequel called Slender the Arrival, which they say will be much, much more scarier. And the graphics look really good, too. They look better than the first yeah, one. Yeah, they say it'll have more levels, improved visuals, and an engaging storyline. And even it will be even more terrifying. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Goatsy. Goatsy just pops out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, guys, it's really dark in this forest. Fuck yes. Ah! <laughs> I don't know. I've I've never really delved myself into any like scary games. Like, the first I mean, fear was good. Yeah, fear, fear two. I just fear two was horrible. The hills have eyes. You know what? That's a movie. Didn't they make a game out of it? No, I movie doubt games. It. <laughs> um, they did make a game out of the hills have eyes. Um, it's called Super Mario Brothers three because the hills do have eyes. Got it. And then some one has a band aid. He is one yeah. of them. Super no, Mario that's is one of them put a dollar in a jar for that. <laughs> Don't get on me about dollar jars, all right? You were making the mixer jokes earlier, <laughs> and I may have made one too. You made like six. I made one. No, you made more than Andy. I was no, I, didn't. I was keeping track. What I made one, four, jo- three. No, you're wrong. The only one I said was uh, the one about I'm. I don't know which mixer to get. It's just got my head all mixed up. You know what I could see a parent doing, like trying to be cool. They're like, "Hey, look, I'm eight mile." <laughs> I'm eight mile. <laughs> a parent doing that. Yeah, flip like, their hood up. Yeah, flip their hood up. I'm hey, Jeremy, mile. look. I'm that eight mile kid. <laughs> Shut up, dad. Good stuff. 
Go on my brew. We go drive my Mazda and I get out of here. <laughs> Our Epic Games designer, Cliff Blazinski, doesn't want physical discs in the next generation. Why? Well, he can eat a dick. <laughs> when asked by Redditor, uh, Rob Roney, what he wanted to see from the next generation <laughs> consoles, Blazinski replied, no disc-based games. Now, Why? is Rob Roney like a handle or someone's actual name? I think it's a handle. It's, yeah, it's gotta be. A Boner handle. Patrol 32 asked. <laughs> <laughs> Cliffy B is a faggot, asked. <laughs> uh, Cliffy B, I don't think you're a faggot. In the case name, he's listening. The name just wasn't <laughs> taken. <laughs> um, Jizzy, Jiffy Lube KY edition <laughs> was wondering. Um, <clears throat> he also said that they were close with Microsoft and Sony um, trying to basically tell them what they want in the next generation. He says a lot of studios do the same thing where... They work with Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, I guess. I mean, when you look at that abomination. <laughs> hey, I think Sega, Shoney, Sega still makes most of the games for Nintendo. So. Yeah. Shoney, you know what would be pretty cool? A, a, if you put a, a tablet. Sex, <laughs> put, a, put a sex hole in the back of that PlayStation <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I programmed the shit out of that. <laughs> that'd be some, good, be some good hardware, if you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> you beat me too. It's like it. an echo. <laughs> yeah, we should put an echo to that one. Have it just like yeah. go over like two seconds. Just, Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Or put it like uh, the reverb so it sounds like he's in like a big open room. About to rape you in the dark. Or behind a door. Yeah. <laughs> Muffled. <laughs> just, just a knock. Fuck yes. <laughs> All right, Skyler, are you going to take a shot with that water bottle? Yeah. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Jesus. Oh. You almost knocked the... I would have had to die for that. ...bottle of gin over. The empty bottle of gin. You wouldn't have had to die for that. It can break. I don't want to break. Glass is a bitch to pick up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, it makes Skyler pick it up with his face. <laughs> with his <laughs> anus. <laughs> pick like it up with your anus. one guy who puts the, the glass jar, yeah, and it breaks. Ah! It doesn't make a fucking sound. Yeah. He just goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no uh, noises. What yeah, a fucking no. hard ass. <laughs> Everyone's. It's happened okay. to him before. <laughs> he's just okay. He's just like, ah. Oh. Ooh, I guess we're here again. <laughs> well, welcome back, Mr. Reiner, to the uh, emergency room. <laughs> Same problem? Glass in the anus, glass in the anus. <laughs> Couldn't help but notice you aren't, you aren't sitting. <laughs> Is there a reason why you're standing like that? You see the blood pooling around my right leg? Yeah. Did it happen again? It happened again. Man, you gotta start using plastic or something. <laughs> Dole cup. Come yeah. on, man. <laughs> Do you guys plan on getting the PS3 Slim version 2? Nope. Nope. It's also called the PS3 Really Guys. This one's like super slim. <laughs> uh, the kind of weird thing about it is usually later in a console's life, the consoles get cheaper, but this version is actually twenty dollars more than the current low end model. Yeah, but the the new model has like a a lot of space. Mm -hmm. It does have Two, a lot of space. But regardless of that, yeah. still it bucks traditional trend, whereas consoles get cheaper as they go. I don't understand the trend of uh, everything being thinner. Like that, that's what makes it better. Uh, like phones. Eventually, we're all just going to be holding plates. <laughs> just various plates that are electronics. And let me all find be the my... same fit. Same you got them on one of those like rings on a card thing. Like, let me find my. You have it on a bookcase. You just pull it out and fucking slide it into a jack. <laughs> um, the 250 gigabyte hard drive will sell for 270 dollars. Um, the 500 gigabyte hard drive will sell for 300. That's I, a I, deal. Yeah, I'd shell out an yeah. extra 30 bucks for yeah, that's a double. Deal. And it also comes with Uncharted 3 Game of the Year edition. So. That's how much I paid for mine. Not for a bad deal. Gigs. For 40 gigs. I that paid way back in like six, 2008. 685 for mine. My external hard drive, which is... What the fuck is it? <laughs> I, I it's, us it's usually one. there. <laughs> that would suck. Um, I bought it in 2009. Um, it's a terabyte for like 200 bucks. And now the terabyte hard, external hard drives are like 50 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> They're cheap as shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about... Um, Transferring all my stuff to an external file and then uh, swapping out the hard drive, keeping the PS3 itself, but just swapping out the hard drive. I really want to do that. Putting a really, a really, really big one in there. 
because I've I, got a one petabyte hard drive yeah. in this thing. <laughs> Try and fill that with porn, Andy. <laughs> Petobyte, huh? Huh? No, that's a dollar. <laughs> Let's get some game news going. <laughs> Uh, that was actually the last for oh. gaming news, so All we're right. going to move on to technology now. Woo! Let's do it. Back in my day. No one cares, old man. It's time for technology news with three hit combo. I haven't played that one in a while. I actually forgot about it until I heard it right there. Wow. It always makes me think of uh, Steamboat Willie, the first Mickey Mouse <laughs> oh, yeah. cat, uh, cartoon. At, the, at like, the very beginning here. Just driving with a steamboat, yeah. <laughs> Bouncing up and down for no reason. You might have Parkinson's. <laughs> oh. Parkinson's. He never stopped moving, ever. None of them. <laughs> Felix the Cat, Betty Boop, everyone had to move. They all had Parkinson's. <laughs> oh. Alright, you guys may have heard this one before, but uh, well, I'm going to tell it anyway. Um, Apple wants some of Samsung's money. No. They want $707 million. No, Why? over Why? patent infringement. Oh, wow. Apple. Oh, you. Oh. <laughs> um, they are also looking for a U.S. sales ban. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, good luck with that. I want. <laughs> but uh, Apple v. Samsung again, patent infringement. Maybe Apple's just like let's get it on. <laughs> maybe maybe it's just kind of twist in the knife that they already had. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, we won that last. Yeah, <laughs> how about another? <laughs> Have you guys heard of comedian Jeff Blue? No. Yes. Oh my God, he's he has cerebral palsy, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> oh. I just thought it was, it was really funny because he said he in a. Like it was like something like oh in a fight I have this move called the palsy punch because uh, they and my opponent doesn't know where it's coming from and neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> but for some reason that just made me think what you did there made me yeah. think of that. It was just like stab and I got another. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did you, Samsung? Well, they're they're like two kids fighting over something like I'm better. Apple's like the the, the older brother. Yeah, so. I'm better. And the Apple's like shut the. Stop it. No, I will not bring you to, to homecoming with me. It's a pretty good picture I saw. It was someone poured a pancake and it looked sort of like an apple. And they're like, I'm so sorry, Apple. Don't sue me. <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> this, this pancake was an accident. <laughs> uh, guys, the iPhone 5 um, is jailbroken already. Uh, so That happened quickly. Yeah, uh, <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Uh, it's not widely available yet, of course. You know, you got to... Implement yeah. that stuff for other people to replicate it, but it's yeah. already been done. It's jailbroken. Now you can get Flash. I'm really surprised. Uh, like, I know the PS Vita is sort of jailbroken, but that's been out for a while. And yeah, yeah I've yet to see any uh, yeah. CFW and I know, pop up for it. Yeah, like well, when, the, when uh, three people have it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, I know two of them. <laughs> um, I know Xbox was fairly quick just because it used uh, computer architecture. Yeah. And it seems like everything's quick anymore. I don't Especially th- things that people say cannot be jailbroken. Yeah. <laughs> it just seems Dude, like... Dude, nothing. <laughs> that, yeah, that's more of a challenge. Done. Like, th- this phone cannot be jailbroken. Yeah, do you remember when the guy said this ship cannot be sunk? All right, the Titanic's at the bottom of the ocean. Hold <laughs> on, Um, I remember the PS3 at least had like a year and a half or something. It was... Until Geohot got his hands on it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then rapped about it. <laughs> and then got arrested. Yeah. Um, have you seen Apple Maps? Yeah. It, fucking it's, it I looks like shit. It. I don't, I I, have I'm, it. A, I'm amazed. Like, how did they drop the ball so bad on that one? Yeah. I mean, just be like Bing and copy Google, you know? <laughs> Remember when <laughs> Bing was copying their search? Copy. Yeah. Paste. Yeah. Oh, I saw a really funny thing online. Um. If you search like suicide techniques on Google, it has like a the first thing that comes up is suicide helpline. Yeah. If you search it on Bing, it, it gives you suggestions to refine <laughs> your search. It's like suicide techniques. Did you mean quick suicide techniques? <laughs> Painful, <laughs> painless. <laughs> ah, painless. Andy, how much storage do you need for a camera? Uh, like gigabytes. What kind of camera? Like picture or video? Uh, doesn't matter. Anything with an SD card slot, whatever you're doing. General uh, populace. 
All right, if, I, if I was using like a, a digital SLR camera, I'd, I'd want, yeah, 16 or 32. I'd be pretty happy with 16 that. 16 or 32, that's not bad. You can now get 256 gigabytes. Damn, that's a big flash in an SD Christ. In an SD card. How much does that cost? Yeah. They haven't released the price yet. Oh. Oh, wait, hold up. It does have a price. Oh. 900 bucks. Jesus Ooh. Christ. Ooh. Oh. Right here. Just right Ooh. in the wallet. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Um, yeah, when Ooh. I clicked on their website, it just said they announced it. So who's uh? Le- yeah, who's Lexar. Lexar. Oh, okay. Lexar. They make big stuff. Then. Um, yeah, dude, thirty two's nine hundred bucks for two hundred fifty six gigs. A thirty two's like maybe thirty something bucks. I just don't understand yeah. like what what all you would you would never have to unload it yeah, ever. You would never have to delete a photo in yeah. your life. Yeah, yeah. I just I I guess I don't understand the purpose. Like, I think they that's do enough it to for... fill up some old hard drives. Yeah, um, like maybe like say big events like the Olympics. Yeah, how they had to do it at the events was they had multiple cards, so then they would have to take a bunch of pictures, unload it, put the new one, like as this transfers onto their computer, they have to put a new one in and keep taking pictures. This one they'll just be able to take pictures longer. Yeah, I guess you could see. I could I could see it being used in like a professional yeah. like magazine or something yeah. like that. But but for a I'm, consumer, yeah, yeah, no. What. What family photos are you taking that you need that much? Yeah. Um, it's made by 40 megapixels. <laughs> According to this article, that's enough storage to get up just under 80,000 pictures <gasps> on, on it. Okay, even that's, for a magazine, that's, yeah. that's pushing it. Yeah. <laughs> 80,000. Jesus Lord. All right. how, how much video does it does it give you an estimation on? Uh, you know, Ooh, it doesn't. Video. Ooh, high def video, that'd be a good. Idea. Yeah. Oh no no it um it didn't say um it one hour of 1080p video is 13 gigs. Okay, so it'd be like. Oh wow, you a get a lot a into that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, you get a lot of that. You could. Are you doing the math? Just under 20. 20 uh, hours. One hour. 1080p hey. videos. It's not bad. Now you just need a battery that can do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, that's not bad at a all. A whole day of 1080p. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm doing today. That's a YouTube video, man. Yeah. We'll just do a YouTube video of a really boring day. In high death. It's like live streaming Instagram. You Here's just... my breakfast. Yeah. Here's yeah. my cup at Starbucks. I'm taking a shower. <laughs> you just strap it to your forehead and then, you know, eat cereal and then... <laughs> Brushing Go my teeth, work. lol. Uh, <laughs> I live put a, tweet during put it. Put a gay ass sepia uh, <laughs> film uh, filter over it. The oh, camera right. gets put down, and you just hear in the background. <laughs> Hold on, let me put the camera down for a second. Hello? Fuck yes. <laughs> Come on in. Oh no. <laughs> Scientists have developed a technique to erase your fears. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Fears are formed when we associate things with a strong negative emotional response. Now a team of scientists have developed a technique which lets them erase new emotion memories from the human brain, which can make it possible to wipe out your fears for good. Dude, I want to... Submersion f- therapy. I wanna, You're afraid I wanna, of heights? Well, you're skydiving now! <laughs> <laughs> I want the fear of pain to go away so that I can just get in fucking just fights <laughs> all the time. <laughs> When the brain learns something, a memory is created through a process co- called consolidation. At first, the memory is unstable, but proteins in the brain uh, fix it into place. By disrupting the way that process is carried out, it is possible to affect the content of a memory. Um, this new study by researchers from Uppsala University in Sweden shows that it's possible to erase emotional memories by interrupting the consolidation process in the brain. Uppsala. <laughs> the team of researchers showed participant neutral images like landscapes, everyday objects, those kind of things. I and also, you were going to say Lance Fuck Armstrong. Yes. <laughs> He's very neutral. Um, but simultaneously administered electric shocks. Basically, they were creating a fear memory by associating the image with the pain. Shown the picture again sometime later, the participants unsurprisingly exhibit some level of fear. However, the team attempted to disrupt the consolidation stage in half the participants by showing them the image repeatedly, this time without any shock, during the period of time over which the brain fixes the memory into place. So, so that's it's sort of like if you fall off a roof, you're going to be afraid to go up on a roof. Yeah. But then they just keep putting you on the roof. And then you just keep not falling off. Yeah, without falling off, yeah. apparently. But the results show that the groups whose memory-making process was disrupted weren't scared when they saw the image again. Like a turd in a toilet. <laughs> no, actually. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> 
<laughs> Are you saying a turd in a toilet is scared, Matt? Can't believe you could bring that back. <laughs> I, I don't think a turd in a toilet is scared. Actually, I can believe you brought that back, and god damn it. Look at this. <laughs> and guys, that'll do it for technology news. Oh, this is good shit. Let's do it. News team! Assemble! And now it's time for the three hit combo news desk with Matt, Andy, and Scott. Yes. With Matt, Andy, and the Kiss. <laughs> God, that's got to be the name of this episode now. The Kiss. The Kiss. The Kiss. <laughs> Pre-peeled, re-wrapped bananas are the most wasteful sign of the apocalypse yet. What? In what has to be the worst case of wasteful packaging in the history of modern convenience, a grocery store in Austria is actually selling pre-peeled bananas that have then been repackaged in cellophane-covered foam trays. Um, Hold on, wait. uh, Andy leaned over to look at the screen, Uh and I could just see the rage building up behind (laughs) his eyes. He's just like, uh, what? Uh, What? We need a a, a soundboard button for for just when I get pissed. (laughs) I like got, that song from that sound from Kill Bill that we we yeah. <laughs> we I think I, I think I got something pretty close. Maybe I don't have it on here anymore. Uh, at, least, at least something ragey. Like uh, we we just need to get like a sound drop. Like maybe maybe Matt, you can record it. Just like Andy Rage imminent, and then put like a woo woo. Yeah, what? bring back the alarm. Who the fuck <laughs> is this in the U.S.? No, it's in Austria. Oh, thank God. I feel a little bit better. Does Austria not have bananas readily peeled? Unpeeled? <clears throat> Can they not yeah. peel bananas? People with arthritis. I Come don't, on, man. I don't know how. Well, then they still got to open the cellophane pack. I don't know how I can. What do you mean? I could seal it in sugar. There you go. Deep but- fried bananas peeled and rewrapped. The ironic thing is this supermarket chain slogan urges customers to use more common sense when shopping. <laughs> that's good now i wonder if it's just like someone who's getting paid in the back to unpeel bananas Dude, all day and fucking wrap shit. it up i would do that shit just, <laughs> oh god i Would'd fucking hate my life this is what i do <laughs> oh my god i was just looking at the soundboard and i i hate to break us off the banana subject but uh um one thing about ncaa football 13 even though i ranted about it a lot last week is um you can create, you can put your own sound effects in, like music, when you score a touchdown. And I really should have put this in. <laughs> and he's in the end zone. Nice. <laughs> he could go all the way. <laughs> touchdown. Oh Fuck yes. <laughs> I think you should put uh, something like wildly inappropriate. Just uh, <laughs> the the like Gangnam chains. Style, the Gangnam Style, <laughs> yeah. or like a, a chainsaw going off and like so, like like cutting through something, just like that, <laughs> that Wilhelm scream. Oh the, the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <I'm> more. <laughs> and he's in the end zone. There's no Canada like French Canada is the best Canada in what? the land. Why? The Canada is Why? Why? Canada. <laughs> Why? All right, guys. Allison Whelan, who's 51, reportedly hijacked a ferry, you know, a boat, right. while yelling at officers <laughs> no. that she was Jack Sparrow. Oh, I saw this headline. <laughs> Whelan was on a two-day bender near a harbor in, harbor in Devon, England, um, last September. I'm really surprised this story is now breaking this September, but oh well, we'll go with it. She called emergency services and said she thought she was having a seizure. Paramedics arrived to find Whelan and her friend aboard a moored 45 foot passenger ferry two technicians attempted to board the vessel but Locke became violent her friend Locke um, and the medics opted to wait on shore until police showed up oh my god Whelan then began untying the boat as it drifted away witnesses said they heard her shouting I'm a pirate I'm Jack Sparrow (laughs) not only was she drunk but she had also apparently been eating nightshade a poisonous a poisonous hallucinogenic that'll fucking kill you yeah it's a deadly plant it is (laughs) But it's also a, a hallucinogenic. Huh. And it's in Skyrim, and you can use it to make poisons. You can. Yeah. So, fun fact. Real life incorporated. Um, she pleaded to aggravated vehicle theft and was sentenced to 122 days in prison. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, I'm Jack Sparrow. You gonna take another, sh- another yeah. shot? Uh, I don't know. Like... 
Does it count? I'm on top? No, you're behind it. Damn it. Fuck yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, bravo for her uh, ambition. Like, where was her friend in all this? Equally as uh, under the influence? <laughs> Probably. I mean. Or was it just like, come on, really? Oh, God, now the police are here. Oh. Are you serious right now? <laughs> all right, I know you just broke up with the kith, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this will get him back. You're you're really doing it, Allison. Yeah, you're the most available girl around. Everyone's going to want you. <laughs> the Ministry of Defense in London said a mother and their baby were in stable condition and a specialist pediatric retrieval team would fly out from Britain to care for them during the long flight home. You see, this service member gave birth in Afghanistan. Hmm. All right. um, it is against protocol to send someone out who's pregnant. She didn't know she was pregnant. She was unaware of the fact that she was pregnant, had stomach pains, and then gave birth to a baby. Oh, shit. Was she, like, ridiculously fat? You wouldn't think so if she's in the military. Yeah. Yeah. Some of this just isn't adding up for me. It's it's weird. Like, I don't know. One, I don't know how you can not know you're pregnant, but... You watch out for that in the, in the Navy, man. I hope I'm not pregnant. No, no. <laughs> shit. The, the, like, if there's that, that many chicks on the boat, you watch out for that. I don't want you coming back with chlamydia seitis or like Poseidon crotch or something. <laughs> Poseidon, Poseidon crotch. <laughs> <laughs> what is Poseidon crotch? It's it's a mix of everything with a like a dash of AIDS. <laughs> a dash of AIDS. It flares up. Yeah. <laughs> AIDS gets mixed in there a little bit. It's an AIDS topper. Yeah. It's you know, like cher- instead of cherries, it's whipped cream and AIDS. Uh, while she was pregnant, she was providing covering fire for troops fighting insurgents. So, so that, that was, whole that nine months, job. she was just... Beep, 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 the entire oh, nine no. months. <laughs> she I was, pooped a baby. So what happens to her now? <laughs> um, I would assume that they're going to fly her back to Britain, but they're flying people out, so maybe well, she's I mean, like, going to stay she, there? Is she just going to like squirt it off, drop it off, and then head out? <laughs> yeah. Just, do you guys remember Cut the Amber? Cord? Yeah, I remember. Um, when she got pregnant and she was gonna have her, it was really close to her having her baby. I was like, "Hey, you're gonna poop when you have that baby." <laughs> she's like, "No, I'm not." And the first day she came back, I was like, "Hey, did you poop?" And she's like, "Yes." <laughs> it wasn't pleasant. It's <laughs> <Just> like, ha! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they don't tell pregnant chicks they're gonna poop in front of people. <laughs> that poor doctor. He's just. Come on! Push, push. Uh, oh, get it out of here! Uh. Oh, the baby came out holding a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> he's holding like a spiral notebook between the holes, so he's like, no, no, come on! <laughs> come on. No, no, uh, uh. Doesn't actually want to touch it, so you get like a few <laughs> pencils, like just like, uh, uh, gotta pry this open. He's got some, got some salad tongs. Yeah, like, it's gonna be like, uh, nurse, uh, chopsticks! <laughs> Ah! Chopstick stat. <laughs> I'm sure we would all be the best uh, yeah. prenatal doctors. <laughs> Just my breasts so, hurt. Let me see them. <laughs> Salad tongs. Does this yeah. hurt? <laughs> yeah. Okay. When the ball of evil comes out of you, it's gonna be really gross. <laughs> there's there's gonna be a baby, and then there's gonna be something I don't want to touch. That's what comes after the baby. Uh, you just throw a box of Kleenex at her. Like, Clean yourself up. <laughs> My job's She's done here. Toss, toss a Kleenex. Give her some, some money. Here, clean yourself up. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> you look pathetic. Some cat toss a fair. Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> Just yelling at a chick right after she's given birth. Get the hell out of here. Clean yourself up. Or you got the go the, out the back door. I don't want anyone knowing you were here. He doesn't know how to clean, so he's got like a garden hose that he has to put his thumb <laughs> over to get some pressure. He's just like <laughs> spraying it up there. <laughs> oh, gross! Get it off! Get it off! <laughs> we should probably stop. Yeah. Uh, I all right. I don't even know how to segue out of that. And next... Oh, shit. You know what I forgot? Uh, I forgot to plug our shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Facebook.com. So you can uh, email you us any- with gross baby delivery stories at 3 podcast at gmail.com. 
I'll take pictures. <laughs> is it? I can't even say it's three. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> I was just thinking about someone doing a potential YouTube video of just like, you know, like just a, a fake setup where the doctor's like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm giving birth. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> William. William delivers a baby. <laughs> oh, you having a baby? That's so hot. Oh, no. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> God damn it. I keep coughing. I feel like I'm so Gallagher. Much. Hold up the sprinter <laughs> shield. <laughs> yeah, one of those fades with the squirt bottles. It's like, I'm drying it off and it's getting wet. <laughs> 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 oh my god, a portable car wash that it just launches into. <laughs> and then it just washes it off and then it comes out of the <laughs> That's like baby. a Looney Tunes yeah. cartoon. Like, the delivery room of tomorrow. <laughs> and it's just not a car wash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. You, you okay? Yeah. Do you need a lozenge? Yeah, w we need to make a series of YouTube videos like Hardcore Thug Births the Baby. You know, just like oh, having some rap no. music playing in the background. Make your juice box drip. Drip. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, well, the only natural place to go after that story is to Florida! Uh, last week we had a story about um, the woman who beat her ex-husband with his own prosthetic leg. Sweet. Well, Michael Wayne Jones allegedly beat his girlfriend with her dog. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. You know what that instantly reminds me of? Have you seen the picture where a guy looks like he's swinging a cat by its tail? It's like, God damn it! How, how, what, what kind of dog? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good question. God, um. If this is a great day and I don't yeah. want to fuck with this guy, <laughs> he's wailing a small horse around. It's a toy poodle. She's like, ah, oh, stop, that's uncomfortable. <sighs> stop throwing cotton balls at me. Uh, or German chef. Just a fucking, just. A Doberman. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't seem to say. Does it say, like, the size of it, how much it weighs, anything like that? Yeah, no, These are the burning really. questions. I would ask this if I was a journalist. Like, yeah, I mean, what kind yeah, of dog that was it? It seems like something you would ask, yeah. But uh, uh, police in Sanford, Florida say that Michael Wayne Jones, who's 42, got into an argument with his girlfriend on Thursday in their home. The arrest report states that Jones was angry because his girlfriend had arrived with her daughter and one of them was trying to smoke crack. <laughs> yeah, I'd be a little upset about that. Jones' girlfriend tried to drive away. Um, the local news reports that Jones allegedly tried to stop her. She and her daughter told police that he came out of the house, punched out the car windshield, and pulled her small dog out of the vehicle. So small. There we go. Small dog. Okay. Right. Uh, threatening to kill it. Jones reportedly began to swing the dog around in the air, and when his girlfriend tried to stop him, he repeatedly hit her with the dog. Oh, my God. Um, he then allegedly began to choke her, let go, and fled on his bike with the dog in tow. When police located Jones, he was bleeding from the right hand. He said he had left the home for his own safety and had not caused any harm to the dog. Though officers noted that Jones' girlfriend had red marks on her neck, neither the woman nor the dog suffered any serious injuries. Holy shit. He escaped on his bike? Oh, Is bike. he fucking 12? <laughs> I'm out of here. The I'm into the coming. dirt ramps. <laughs> See you later. The, I wonder if this all happened in like a 10 second blur for this man. <laughs> like, he, they try to leave, things go black, and then he wakes up and he's riding a bike with a fucking dog. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> what happened to my hand? Like, I mean, you just, maybe, maybe what happened was he punched in the windshield and he's just like, fuck. I don't know where to go from here. Like, I'm, I'm already in it. I'm right. in it. I've I stepped can't. right in the middle of this yeah, shit. Yeah. I can't go back. I just bet yeah. the house. <laughs> so, oh next, next step, I have to grab the dog. I'm just going to have to up the ante. <laughs> All right, guys. Carlos Romero, a 31-year-old farmhand from Marion County, Florida, was recently arrested for committing a sexual act with a donkey. Sodomy. <laughs> The cat. The kiss. Hey, was baby. It, was it sodomy? Sodomy? Sodomy. Yes, Andy. Yes, it was. <laughs> sodomy. Uh, when he was arrested, he also said, Florida is a backward state, and people frown on zoophilia here. 
<laughs> no. I don't I don't know where those progressive okay. states are that don't frown on zoophilia. I agree with the but first But I want to go there. I agree with the first <laughs> half of that statement. Florida's Maybe. a backward state. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Florida, Florida's a crazy state. Um, according to the arrest report obtained by the smoking gun, someone walked in on Romero with the donkey on August 15th. The witness walked by the room that Romero used to sleep in and noticed the lights were on. He peeked through the window and saw Romero shirtless with his pants down, leaning up behind the donkey. It appeared so, that he was having intercourse with the animal. So this man brought the donkey into his room. Into the room. He seduced that donkey. <laughs> he, he seduced, seduced that he ass. Sedu- How did that ass? <laughs> he hit that ass. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> like, I just, I don't... I felt oh, like did Michael he get it up there? Did there. he like? Did he did he grab like a carrot or something? Like, come on, yeah, I'll show you where this goes. Would you like to try anal? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I wonder which <laughs> That's holy a good st- yeah. clip right there. <laughs> I I wonder which holy stuck it in. The, I don't I don't know much about donkey anatomy. I, yeah, I, I, like I, do they? They gotta have a vagina. Yeah. A donkey giant. Of course they do. They gotta have a donkey giant. I just don't know if, like... Like, is it lower? Like, it's not, like... I don't like, know. Like, the humans, like, it's, like, I used separated. to live on a farm when I was, like, six. Separated by an inch of gooch? <clears throat> Man, I'm not comfortable with this conversation. <laughs> I don't like where this is headed. Can we go back to have a, delivery room Have a talk with snappings? Skylar and Andy. <laughs> like, <laughs> Skylar and Andy to talk about the birds, the bees, and the donkeys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't ever saw Eddie Murphy. He, his donkey didn't have a butthole. <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, that's a bad story to end on. I should have really thought about that beforehand. But that'll do it for news, and that'll do it for another episode of Three Hit Combo Podcast. And you know what I want to do? We need to get our Facebook likes up. We really do. So. For this, I know, our last like seven to get us up past like twenty five are all lies. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, so for this whole next week, um, for every Facebook like we get, Skylar will give me a blowjob. I didn't think he'd agree to that, but here we are. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> by like, him the so keep t- that in by mind. Tuesday, you're like, no more, no more. Stop it, guys. It's weird. All right. <laughs> Just because I'm receiving doesn't mean this is good. His mouth has the power, but his, the flesh is waning. <laughs> he shaved his beard into an anchor. <laughs> you know how awkward that is? <laughs> he just comes over in a sailor's hat, and that's all. <laughs> it's frightening, all right? I think he's getting into it, too. It's creeping me out. He tries to make eye contact. I never like eye contact. <laughs> Oh, he came in wearing a donkey costume. Damn it! <laughs> I didn't know where to put it. <laughs> I just threw it somewhere. Yeah, that's fucking gross. <laughs> but uh, I was like yeah. fishing with my penis. So like us on Facebook. Um, if you love the podcast, tell your friends about it. Please. Tell your friends about it on if Facebook you don't, and have them fuck like you. It. Yeah, and if you don't like it, how come you made it all the way to the end? Hmm. It's a, I wonder who sticks around to this. Yeah, this listener part. that doesn't like us that hung around to the end. You sit on a throne of lies. And you love dicks. us. <laughs> the throne of lies and dicks. Hot plate of dick. <laughs> Instead of game of dicks. <laughs> Alright guys, so remember that. We want Facebook likes. We will like you if you like us. We already like you. So our end of the bargain is For every is like up. we get, I will take a shirtless picture and send it to you. In the mail. Because I try to keep the U.S. Postal Service off. I know a place you can mail that stuff at. Dude, I totally <laughs> sent a letter to uh, Tam at his new place. And it... That was two and a half weeks ago. Still hasn't gotten there. God damn. It, yeah, it's gone, man. If it hasn't gotten there yet, it's yeah. lost. I should have should have sent it with UPS. You should have. <laughs> he gets a postmarked envelope, first class. Oh, what do I got, Skylar? Just fuck you. <laughs> it's just a big middle finger. <laughs> it's, a, it's a picture of my nutsack, isolated <laughs> with my fist. Wow, they really are like polished eggs. <laughs> and that's a callback. <laughs> All right, guys. So for Skylar and Andy, and fuck yes, this is Matt signing out. Facebook.com slash 3 Combo Podcast.